Hey everyone, welcome to another Starfield episode. This episode, we're going to focus on the Lair of the Mantis. It is an amazing quest, and you get the quest by randomly killing and looting spacers, and you find this secret tape, and it talks about a secret outpost on Denebola 1B. So stow the tape, chart your course, takes if you haven't found the area it takes a little bit of grav jumping till you get there um, and when you get to Denebola B then go ahead and just spin your planet around until you find the secret outpost and head on in uh, this is a really good quest reminds me a lot of the mechanist quest in Fallout 4 uh, good puzzle um, lots of looting and shooting so Fair warning, I am using one of my powers. I'm not explaining how I got it or what it is, but you'll see it in use during this video. Okay, so let's go ahead. And I found this really nice little weapon. It's the Ashta Tamer. And the nice thing about it is it's incendiary. And this thing's a wicked little, almost like a shotgun. Um, it's not a chance. It says it's a chance to do incendiary damage, but pretty much every shot does. Okay, we have found the secret outpost. There, that's how nice it works. You don't even have to aim. Okay, let's give a little bit of jumping in here. I think we got the guys here. Just head over here on the left there are about three or four more spacers to kill and then you'll be into the actual lair building let me just if you see little jumps it's just me cutting out the saves i saved quite a bit during this whole process it is intense we're all still getting used to all the different types of weapons i am Love this one. This one came up very early. I think I was level 9 or level 10 when I started it. And it is a bit low to try to do it. Um, the only thing I really missed out on was a locked locker area that had a bunch of chests in it. I have to come back at another time and go get those. That has a rare weapon in it that you can continue to uh, re-roll to try to get a, a better roll. I'm probably going to die here. I'm too close. A little bit. Um, the main reason to do this quest, not only is it a really well-written uh, quest, is you get a free spaceship called the, called the Razor Leaf. And uh, it has a heck of a lot more fuel. The Frontier, I think, is running on about 50. And I think this one's like... 150 or 400 I forget I've been looking at so many different ships that and a really nice spacesuit with three legendary items you get the helmet the spacesuit and the boost pack and you can continue to save and re-roll until you get or what you were looking for with me on the second roll I was happy with what I got so let's make our way through the lair of the mantis what? Yeah, I'm gonna definitely die real soon. Oops. Ten more rounds left. Must have been... I don't know. It's nothing. Where? Uh. <laughs> Winner takes all. I'm 
I'd be scared to fight me too. Though I met with a lawyer and was prepared to party. Hard. The video will was... emotional. Mom and I stopped talking years ago. Mom... didn't look good. But it was Mom. As weird, crazy, and cryptic as ever. I'm almost surprised she remembered she even had a son. It was... hard to hear. Almost touching. But then the punchline. No inheritance until I go to Mom's secret base on Denabolo 1B. And she ends not with an I love you or an I'm proud of you. No. Six Semper Tyrannus. Oh my god. Always with that stupid Latin saying. Over and over she'd say that damn thing. Thanks, Mom. Thanks oh so much. You're doing well, Leon. Almost there. I know. Things have been difficult. The mantle of the Mantis is a heavy burden. But you can do so much good. The spacers and pirates need someone to fear. Someone to check them. To make them realize some lines cannot be crossed. You have it in you, Leon. I know you do. Stay sharp, focused, just a little further. Also, go ahead and make use of any cots or beds to get your health completely back up. I think I was completely out of med packs by now. Now, back into it. Come then. Meet you up there. Once again, we are triumphant.
I heard something. Take your best shot.
Hey! Get in the cover! Wait to kill you. Ah, victory! Your head! The best you can do. Are you prepared to die? Die today. I hope you are sufficiently rested. Who knows what this? <laughs> yes. Give up already. while I wait. Someone or something will clean up whatever is left behind. Wait, wait, don't shoot! I am unarmed! Look, we can help each other. I can be useful. Just don't kill me. It's because I'm smart. 
You've killed so many. I am nothing, no chance. So we can make a deal? This place was full of traps, traps everywhere. I removed them. But this, this corridor is just too dangerous. See, looks normal. One step inside, slam! You are trapped, and nobody's been standing after the doors reopen. No, sorry. If I tell you that, then I lose my leverage. They're ingenious. Took a, a lot of lives to tease them out. No one knew how to get through the corridor. But I figured it out. There are letters on the floor. It is a grid. Those letters must spell something. But there are so many words or small phrases. Why does everyone always say that? See, I've been helpful. You, you could let me go. Or better, I can help. I know these traps. I know how this mantis thinks. Please let me help and just give me a taste of the cachet inside. You can trust me. You realize that, of course, you cannot actually trust him. Spoken like a true spacer. You won't regret this. I will hold back here. And, well, good luck. Right, you will find the remains of Leon's body, and there's a tape to play. Last recording. Okay, we've reached the puzzle room. Now we already have a major clue, because the mantis would repeat to Leon all the time, Sick Semper Tyrannus. First time I played through, I used my uh, power ability, the first one you receive, which worked really well. This one, we are going to spell out Tyrannus. Now there is no clicking of any buttons on the floor, I just maneuvered over them very slowly. So far the turrets don't care. Well, they do. Okay, let's try this again. You kind of have to move with earnest. So as soon as you get down here, start right away on the letter T. Don't hesitate. No click noise, nothing. Just stand on it 
and then glide to the next one. Where's that Y? T Y. R. The A is close. A. There's the N. And another N. And then I S. And there's a push button at the top of the stairs. You're just hearing them, I think, shooting at Andrea. Go ahead and click this, and you're through the gate. And that locker that was off to my left, I did not have a high enough lock pick to get in there, so I will come back at a later time and loot the room. Apparently there is a legendary weapon in there, and you can just keep re-rolling it and save and re-roll until you get the weapon that you like. So we're just going to go ahead and continue through here. Just a quick save. And more of the lair. I am sorry I could never show this lair to you. The lair is a secret that's been passed down for over a hundred years. And there are rules. You remember when you were a teenager? All the training, the drills, all of it was to prepare you for this. I know you have it in you, Leon. I am sorry I could never show this lair to you. The lair is a secret that's been passed down for over a hundred years. And there are rules. You remember when you were a teenager? All the training, the all the things to prepare you for this. I know you have it in you, Leon. Profit is never an I have things I wish to discuss with you. When you have them.
this person had a lot of money. Look at all this tech. Looks fantastic. And then the background right there, you can see the Razor Leaf, your soon to be new ship. Let's go get it. And so now all we have to do is lift controls. There you go. It's heading to the surface. I want this as my base. I'm sorry, I want all of this for my base. And my crew and everything else. I may have to come back here, actually. Well, we can't settle in these kinds of places, but it'd be kind of nice to recreate. Security computers. I probably will come back here and, well, I have to come back anyways to go and raid the chests that I don't have a high enough lock picking skill for. So when I come back, I'll have uh, see what, what kind of things are around here to loot. My health is terrible. I need to find another place to rest up. So I am on the edge. I have to have this, the little terrarium. Okay. We are barely alive, and we have to go get the suit. But sometimes you find really neat things in lockers and stuff. So I'm just going to take a little bit of time. Thank you for hanging out at least this long. We're about 35 minutes into the video. It's okay to skip ahead or back to just solving the puzzle or hanging out till the bitter, bitter end. There's some food. Um, yes little bit more looting.
and as you can see, the layer is quite massive. And I was looking for exactly what is over there, a place I can restore my health. I'm also going to pick up some food here for later. Bitten sandwich. Water and everything else. And those are good to keep on hand if my health gets low again. And have a quick sleep. And we're literally steps so away I from remember. choosing our armor spacesuit. There it is. Of course, I'm cautious because I don't know if there's any more traps in here or what. There's also a loot room straight ahead there with a couple of nice chests to loot. So let's take a look at this. This is the outfit for the Mantis. And I've since learned when I fly the Razor Leaf and, you know, grab jump to the outside of a planet or something, the spacers will flee. They go, it's the Mantis, and they, they just leave. So very handy. So we're going to go ahead and save here and check out the stats on this spacesuit. Composed of three parts, the helmet, the suit, and the backpack. So this came up as technician, liquid cooled, and incendiary on the helmet. And on the spacesuit, let me go down. And like I said, you can save, restart until you get the role that you want. I just left that up a little longer for you guys to read everything. Very similar to the Fallout series. Okay, let's go. There we go. A beast hunter resource hauler. So your resources away 25% less and mirrored. A 4% chance to reflect attacks. And on the backpack, combat veteran galvanized. So that gives you a little corrosive resistance and reactive chance to stagger nearby attackers. So we're going to save and then reload and see what different roles we get on those three pieces. And we're back. Let's take a look at the new roles. I was actually pretty happy with this one. Reactive. So we have Sturdy reduces uh, incoming melee. Lead line gives rad resistance. And the reflective, uh, sorry, reactive, which gives a chance to stagger. So that's a pretty good. These are all three stars. Uh, repulsing Mantis Pack. So repulsing and the same with the spacesuit. So we have ablative minus 15% incoming energy damage, liquid cooled, and repulsing 5% chance to down nearby enemies, sorry, nearby attackers. And acrobat, that's good, minus 50% full fall damage, sorry. And I was happy with that. Now we can head out to the spaceship. But first, again, saving forgot the room to the right. Now I do have to come back again because there's a box that I could not unlock because I don't have an advanced enough lock picking skill yet. And it is that storage crate. This one had a really interesting, the original Aquila City Charter, which I found interesting. I don't know if there's any backstory or history on, on the Mantis's character. So these other three boxes you could loot there, no problem. And a quick look at some of the workbenches that are in Starfield. Um, if you're looking for a complete set that you can use that you don't even have to build yourself, it's in the basement of the lodge that's the area where all the members of constellation uh, have their headquarters and hang out and one last box to loot here ammo is something you want to pick up all the time because there are such a variety of weapons just 
pick don't leave ammo behind just take it all so we're going to head back to this elevator we saw when we first came in and head back up to the main level of the lair And that was the door we first saw on the way in. We went that way and listened to um, the one tape. And we should be turning right here. And there's our exit. Then we can head right to the surface and check out the Razor Leaf. At the end of the video, I will uh, pull up the stats for the Razor Leaf and compare them uh, to the Frontier. If you want to hang out till the end of the video, I'll leave those those up and all these ships can be upgraded uh, when you first land at new atlantis you will encounter a ship's technician just head right up to him and click on i would like to upgrade my ship and whichever ship you have uh, chosen uh, you can go ahead and enter the entire ship modification area and there it is nice not bad for free also if you chose kids stuff you will uh, as a, um, a background trait one of the three you can choose um, you also get another free ship so I will hopefully and a backpack so kid stuff awards backpack and a new ship so you can and you can go ahead and sell them if you don't want personally I'm keeping the frontier it's like historical and you want to keep it so this I'm just gonna go ahead and do another save Let's take a look inside the razor leaf. Any adventure you can fly away from. Is, is that how the saying goes? Yes, there are ladders that you can actually use. This is a first. So it's quite spacious. Got a television, little meeting table, the loo. your navigation table, some work areas for the crew, yay. Get your health back up there. Nice kitchen, as long as it's got a coffee machine, I will fly in space, yes. Okay, now this particular ship already is equipped with cargo shielding to a certain weight limit. So if you're hauling contraband, you will be okay to a certain weight limit. I think it's 160 it doesn't say uh, I'll have to go back into the when we get down to the stats and behind me there I don't know if I show it right away there's a little captain's storage area look at this this is so nice you just the feeling when you go from the frontier to this it's such an achievement check this out let's go ahead and sit in our new seat. <laughs> Little joysticks like move you right up to all the controls. All right, let's get back up and show you the cargo storage is off to your left here, a little panel on the wall, just like in the Frontier. Let's go back over there. There we go. So just a quick look, it has storage for 420 pounds. And here is my inventory. I'm almost at max. Uh, my Now, I have not upgraded any of my skill tree. So the 135 was, you know, pretty basic off the beginning. I don't think I took any uh, weight reduction perks at all. So you can go ahead and store whatever you want in your ship. But let's go, I want to show you guys the second floor. And a bit more storage there. A little bit of sealant. Okay, let's head up to the second floor. 
You guys are going to love it. Now we don't want to go outside. Up the ladders we go. I think this is a first for a Bethesda game. Ladders. It puts you in third person. Now what this is, is a massive storage slash display area. There are cases everywhere. There are helmet stands, backpack stands, and loads. All of these are weapon racks. Weapons and ammo. I thought you could go elsewhere, but those are just, the, I guess, the various docking areas. But it is, there's just so much. I don't know how much, if it counts as part of your cargo or not, or whether you just put things in here. There were one or two legendaries in one of the cases. So just that was just a really quick look inside the razor leaf and i know i'm going to call it the razor crest at some time i watch mandalorian so it's going to be called the razor crest by me at one point so <laughs> sorry for that error if it happens there's all kinds of so many details aboard the ship okay i think we've had enough of a tour it's time to take off and we're going to head back to new atlantis and i'm going to go ahead and go in the build mode and compare the stats of the ship to the frontier but it is okay to go ahead, even though the Frontier is still on this planet and it has crew aboard, you can go ahead and just leave. They will be, the ship will be stored and the crew will be assigned to your new ship. No problem. So let's get back in here. I have got to put my helmet on. Okay, let's take off. And this is important. You now have a new home ship. Your previous home ship, that was the Frontier, was added to your fleet. To retrieve, sh retrieve ships in your fleet, you go to the ship services technician, and then you can make what, and it's instantaneous. You turn around and your ship is now there. So you can make this your home ship, or if you want to retrieve the Frontier, go ahead and make that your home ship. I'm going to show you that in just a minute. So let's head out. Okay, we're back on New Atlantis, and this is the ship services technician. I did check to see if the ship needed any repairs, and it did not, so that was a good thing. Just going to click out of this one, and I'd like to view and modify my ships. Yes, sir, let's do it. No problem. Okay, here's the razor leaf. And it's a bit of an overview. And I was correct, the fuel is 140. That's up from 50 on the Frontier. And you can use your bumper buttons on the Xbox, uh, left or right bumper button. You can see ship one of two and it's labeled as home ship. So I have things stored on the Frontier. So all I have to do is make the Frontier my home ship, take everything out of it, switch back to the Razor Leaf, make that my home ship, and then just drop everything back in. And that's my dog saying it's time to go outside and play. All right, I'm gonna leave you guys with the stats on these ships. Thanks so very much for watching and I'll see you out at the next adventure.